You are now watching Islam. Dum, 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 dum. فطنا طلق الدنيا وخاف الفتنا نظروا فيها فلما علموا أنها ليست لحي وطنا جعلوها لجة واتخذوا صالح الأعمال فيها سفنا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله This is a debunking of the website or the YouTube channel called uh, the Islamic Miracle Channel and it says debunking Quran miracles and you know subhanallah I don't have too much time of course on my hands these days as you can see by not having been posting so many videos but I thought that um, it's amazing and then when I look at the content of this site I mean they have what it's like Islam Miracle 2 is coming and then they have like the site in Danish, Dutch, French, German, Italian, Norway, Spanish, Swedish. And you can keep it going. They, they, they're they organized so well. And of course, the upcoming channel, it's pretty One, because again, I don't have time. But just for the sake of showing the Muslims how funny these people are. How... They think that they're scholarly. They think that they're, oh, look what we, we've put Islam in their place. Oh, yeah, let me show you how it is. Anyway, you know, people like these just, subhanAllah. So, let's go to their video. And this is about, <coughs> they're saying that, man, the Quran has no clue. You know, let's talk about the bee. It talks about the bee. And supposedly, you know, we claim that in Surah Nahl, there's an amazing miracle. Now let's see, you know, basically they're saying that, well, you know, and Allah says in the Quran, and your Lord inspired the bee to build your dwellings in hills and trees and human habitations, then to eat of all the produce and follow the way of your Lord made easy. And there comes from your Lord, um, from their bodies, forth from their bodies, a drink of varying colors, wherein is healing for men. Verily, this is a sign for those who give taught. Now this has been addressed before, we've showed the miracle, if you go on a slam dunk side you'll see for example the issue of that comes from, from their bodies, from their actually, uh, their, 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 their inside and you can look at the articles, non-Islamic articles that talks about how honey is produced, the regurgitation of the honey, that it comes actually from the actual uh, abdominal region, from the inside, okay. Uh, from the belly of the honey, of the honey bee, and how the the bee the the honey is being processed as a process of regurgitation being reswallowed and reg regurgitated till it's actually being produced, and these are you can go and just research how is honey produced and see the exact wording that the Quran describes, but and it it's amazing because it says here verily and this is a sign for those who give thought. Now, of course, our friends here don't give any thought whatsoever. They just want to put out... So they're saying, basically, it's not a big deal that the Quran says that, you know, the, the female honeybee is the one producing the honey, you know, that from their belly comes this. Muslim came that claim that the verses contain evidence that the average honeybee, in regards to the stage of creating honey, are female, and that no one could have known this prior to the Quran. True. Then they go to say, well, suppose Aristotle says in, in his book on history of animals, others again assert that these insects copulate and that the drones are males and the bees are females. Now, you know, you have to be careful with the way people put things in perspective. Let's just deal with this first thing. Because Aristotle says that there's female bees, like the bees, and then that there's drones, drones. He's making an assertion, number one. Number two, big deal it's like say you know he's saying that there's female bees and male bees that's fine no one says that no one knew about that before that's not the Quranic claim that's why let's go just a little bit back if we see what this is saying that Muslims claim that the verse contains evidence that the average honey bee in regards to the stage of creating honey are the female my friends in regards to creating honey not that there's 
female bees and male bees but just a few few seconds later they're changing this you know their proof doesn't fit what the claim is all right the female honeybee is creating honey all right let's move further to your second so-called point of being smart and debunking islam all words in the arabic language are categorized in two subheadings masculine and feminine all right so he's the big arabic scholar it's it's hilarious that these people come up with you know they try to explain to the muslims subhanallah and this is something that we need to to wake up these people are teaching us our deen are they're teaching us arabic all right let's see how this you know this this i don't even again i want to i have to keep myself from 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 saying something that i don't that i'm going to regret but you know these rookies he says the simple fact the simple fact the simple fact this guy is that he doesn't know anything that he's talking about in arabic so if you're an arab the simple fact and you want to debate arabic let's do it about what you're saying here the simple fact is that the word for b in arabic just appears to be feminine is absolutely no indication that b is female this is nothing more than wishful thinking i would also like to see this logic applied to any other generic object detailed in the quran <laughs> let's apply your logic to what to your argument all right in arabic there's something called ism jins ism jins means that the word has a form be it male or female but that doesn't mean that the actual thing represented by the word is a female or a male in this case a perfect case just to show the miracle of the quran just a perfect case nahla okay nahl b its actual word the word is feminine however nahla can include both male and female bees so when you say to a male bee it can be nahla you say to a female be it can be nahla now in the arabic language there's a more contemporary word but it's not the fusha but it is part of this arabic word you know and it's called samsun which would re refer to a drone but again nahla would cover both female and male nahla is ism jins طيب. So I hope you're keeping up with me here. And I hope this guy is taking notes. Because we're going to make an example out of him. And out of his sight. And out of the people following. <laughs> how do we know? And how? Where is the claim that the Quran knew that this is a, a female bee that's producing the honey? Simple. How do you know the actual gender of the word, of the thing that is being represented by the word? in ism jins simple by the verbs by the sentence by the order for example fa'al amr all right so what is the verse says a'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim thumma kuli min kull thamaratin min kull thamarati fasluki subul rabbiki what is this ya mean right here this ya yeah means that it's a female. This is an order. This is fa'al amr. Allah is ordering the female bee. And you see in the context, this is the female bee, the one who creates the honey. Yahruju min butuni ha. From her. Okay, from her. Um, from her belly. شراب مختلف ألوانه فيه شفاء للناس إن في ذلك لآيات لقوم يتفكرون. Of course, this person is not a person who ponders. He's just hasty, just trying to put out everything, anything nice there to just mislead people. So again, ism jins. The miracle is that the order is given to a female. If it would have been to a male, 
ثم كل اوكي فاست لوك this would give the order كل when I say كل eat to a male even though the نحل would be a female form do you understand اسم جنس in the Arabic language now of course we don't expect this person to understand because he's not amongst those who is a person of mufakkir a mufakkir someone who thinks and ponders but we expect inshallah the Muslims not to be misguided